Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Well, perhaps no fighter in the game understands how to control distance as well as the southpaw Conor McGregor. And you got to be mindful of what's coming your way in the early going. This is a man who knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds, has a three and a half second knockout to his credit as well. We'll see if McGregor can take advantage of his reach edge here in the early going. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, big left hook there. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang. Drops the straight left only that can end your... Throwing heat now. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Hooker's eye starting to swell now. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. Just digs into the body. And he does that shot to every part of himself. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, big left hand. So a nice reactive takedown there. He did a beautiful job to catch the leg. Well, that, well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday, catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Hooker's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. That submission looks tight. And the submission was very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Well, Gregor's eyes closing up now. Not good for him. By right, pausing the action here, and if the referee calls for the doctor, this could very well be the end of the fight, given all that swelling around the eye. It could be, and rightfully so. His eye is swollen shut. He cannot see his opponent. He's flailing at him. Can't find his target anymore. And it looks as though he is going to allow the fighter to continue. So a nice pop from the crowd as that decision is made. He's got to go. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, so here is the two-division contender, Dan Hooker, now back in the lightweight division where he has realized a whole lot of success. This man has headlined for the UFC before. He has been in some absolute wars. Tonight, though, not looking to end up in the hospital. He wants to be more of a technician on the feet. He has worked very hard with Eugene Behrman and all of his training partners at City Kickboxing. They want a clean technical effort here tonight, and candidly, they believe they have the right opponent to produce that result. But it's these types of rounds. You know, you get these types of rounds where these guys fight each other, and nobody really does much. And then the judges are obligated to choose a winner. And how do you choose a winner? Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. And he caught the kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Well, at some point, you've really just got to start mixing things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body. At this point, he's really just been a headhunter. Eye is essentially swollen shot. What a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. Trying to keep the hook out. He's been very, very bad. And back to his feet. Oh! Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he 
certainly found the range on that one. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Hooker gets up. He is back on the feet here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big elbow. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get it stuck. All right, so it looks as though now the referee will step in to look at the swelling on that eye as he calls for the doctor. Maybe he wanted to step in earlier, but now he had no choice. He had no choice. The swelling is so bad, he can't see. He's flailing at his opponent right now. Yeah, and that's going to do it. And I wonder if these fans who are booing would be willing to fight another man in a cage with one eye, right? His eye is completely shut. That'll do it. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen.